Describe a website which helped you to do something slash website you visit often slash use regularly. You should say. Which site is it? How did you know about it? How did it help? Why do you visit it often? As technology has continued to advance, more and more websites have been created to help people with everyday activities. One of these websites is YouTube, which I discovered and have been using for a few years now. It has become an invaluable tool, and I visit it almost daily. Which site is it? Here I would like to talk about how I learned about YouTube, how it has helped me, and why I continue to visit it often. How did you know about it? I heard about YouTube five years ago when my friends were talking about it in school. They said it was a great website with tons of different videos and music. They also said that it was easy to use and that you could watch whatever you wanted to. After hearing all this, I decided to check it out and see what it was all about. I was amazed at what I saw. So I decided to make an account and use it more often. How did it help? Since then, YouTube has been a great help to me. I have watched videos on various topics, such as cooking, music, movies, and so much more. Not only can I watch videos, but I can also upload my videos, which has been great for sharing my work with friends and family. Additionally, I can join different groups and connect with people with similar interests. This has been great for networking and learning about different events or activities in my area. Why do you visit it often? I visit YouTube often because it is such an easy and convenient way to watch whatever I want, whenever I want. There is always something new to watch, and the website is constantly updated with new videos and content. Additionally, I can easily connect with other people who have similar interests as me. This helps me stay up to date on what's happening in the world and stay in touch with friends and family. Conclusion YouTube is an amazing website that has helped me in many ways. It is easy to use, and there is always something new to watch. I can connect with people who have similar interests as me, and I can watch whatever I want whenever I want. It has become an invaluable tool, and I visit it almost daily. IELTS Speaking Part 3, Follow-up Questions Here are some examples of follow-up questions that you may ask during your Speaking Part 3 by examiner related to cue card. Describe a website which helped you to do something slash website you visit often slash use regularly. One. Who in your family uses the site? My siblings use this site. Sometimes my father also uses it. Give your personal answer. Two. Can the internet help children in their studies? Yes, definitely. The internet is an ocean of knowledge. Children can take the help of many educational sites on the net. 3. Will the internet replace the teacher? 
I don't think so. The teacher will always be there. The teacher can keep the student focused on studying. The internet cannot do so. 4. Will download music or movies for free cause a problem? Yes, it can cause problems. It can affect the sale of this music and movies also. But it cannot be stopped. People will always find ways of doing so. This has also made many amateur singers and actors famous overnight. 5. What are the reasons why people use the Internet? People use the Internet for various purposes like entertainment, gaining information or online shopping or services like banking etc. 6. Some people say that different age groups have different tastes in Internet content. What do you think? Yes, interests change according to age. Children like to watch cartoons on the Internet whereas the younger generation uses it mainly for social networking and shopping. The elderly are using it for finding and sharing information. 7. What influence can, or does, the Internet have on children? The Internet has positive as well as negative impacts on children. If Internet access is not supervised or appropriate parental controls are not implemented, Children can access restricted websites which can have a negative influence on them. 8. What kind of people don't use the Internet and what are the disadvantages that those people suffer because they don't use the Internet? Some people who are against technology and have orthodox thinking do not use the Internet. But most poor people do not have access to the Internet. These people are not aware of things happening around them and how technology has brought convenience to our life. So they are dependent.